Hi everyone, I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of HUHK. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to introduce yourself in natural Japanese. So if I was asked to introduce myself, I would say, Hajimemashite, Taguchi desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hajimemashite is used to say, nice to meet you. It's literal mailing is, it's the first time to meet you. So it makes sense, isn't it? Your name is, is like, I'm my name. Finally, yoroshiku onegaishimasu is a greeting to people you will be involved in the future. So you just need to say, Hajimemashite, your name is, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. If you're greeting for the first time to people who are superior to you, like professors or your boss, perhaps you might want to be more polite. Then you only need to change two things. First, change your name, this, and to your name, to moshimasu. Second, change yoroshiku onegaishimasu and to yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. These two changes will add more humbleness to your greeting, so it sounds more polite. So in my case, I'd say, Hajimemashite, Taguchi to moshimasu. Yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Now, let's view a typical scene of self-introduction by native speakers. Hajimemashite, Sato desu. Yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Sato mo hajimemashite, Furiichi desu. Kochira kosa dozu, yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. So today, we learned two versions of self-introduction. I hope you can use them to greet Japanese people. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Jane! Hi everyone, I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of HUHK. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to how to say where you're from and what you like to do in natural Japanese. To say where you're from, you can say Shushin wa somewhere desu or somewhere kara imashita. Shushin means where you're from or where you were born. Somewhere kara kimashita means I'm from or I've come from somewhere. So in my case, I can say Shushin wa Akita desu or Akita kara kimashita. When you want to ask someone where they are from, then you can say, ご出身はどちらですか And if you want to say your hobby, you can say, 趣味は something です。趣味 means a hobby or something you like to do. So in my case, 趣味は読書です。If you want to ask someone about their hobbies, you can say, ご趣味はありますか or 趣味は何ですか Here's some example videos about these topics. Let's watch them. 出身は名古屋です。趣味は旅行をすることです。出身は千葉です。趣味は登山です。出身はベトナムです。趣味はカフェ巡りです。神田さん、お出身はどちらですか出身は愛知県です。土井さんは私は兵庫県から来ました。姫路城が有名ですよね。That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Jenny! Hi everyone! I'm Aoi, Japanese International Tutor in EduHK. Today, let's learn the way to talk about your favorites. In order to say, my favorite food is something, you can say, 好きな食べ物は something です。好きな favorite 食べ物は food is something です。So in my case, I would say 好きな食べ物は apple pie です。You can stop here, but it will be nice to add a reason for it. You can say 理由は something だからです。The reason is because something. So I would say 理由は甘くて美味しいからです。If you use this basic structure, you can chat about other favorite things too. Let's watch the video and see how Japanese people introduce their favorites. 
きなお菓子はじゃがりこです理由はいろんな味があって美味しいからです好きな芸能人は須田まさきです演技が上手だからです好きなアニメは鬼滅の刃です感動するからです好きなお店はユニクロです安いからです That's it for today Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time じゃあね Hi everyone I'm Aoi Japanese international tutor of NHK Today Let's cover what to say to someone you already know. To ask if someone is lively or in good health, you can ask, お元気ですか Among friends, you can ask, 元気にしてる Or even casually, 元気 To ask, how's it going? Or how's life? You can say, いかがお過ごしですか More casually, 調子はどう Or, 最近どう Well, but come to think of it, the function of how are you is just the start of a conversation or a general greeting when you see your acquaintance, right? For a general greeting in a polite manner, you can say, おはようございます in the morning, こんにちは in the daytime, and こんばんは at night. More casually, you can say these to your friends. お疲れ様 or お疲れ at any time. And if you see someone you know but you haven't seen the person for a long time, then you'll say お久しぶりです to someone superior to you and 久しぶり to your friends. Now let's watch the scenes of Japanese people saying how are you. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Jane! Hi, everyone. I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of ADHK. When you visit Japan, it's necessary to know how to get on a train. Let's go see and master it. So here I am in the train station, and I'm gonna buy a ticket using the vending machine. To figure out the fare, find the road map or look it up online. If you need to ask the fare to the ekin-san or station staff, you can say, Sumimasen, ABC eki made no kipu wa ikura desu ka? For example, my fare is 200 yen. Find the button on the screen of the vending machine. Press 200. Now insert the money. And get the ticket. Now proceed to the gate. Insert the ticket. And pass through it while taking the ticket to get on the train. When you arrive at the station, insert the ticket to the gate and you just pass through. Other than buying tickets for each journey, you can buy a prepaid transportation card or Kotsuke IC card, such as Suika. You can buy one and add value to it with a vending machine, so just find one that says Suika and charge it. You can usually change the language of the machine for easier operation. The way to use a Kotsuke IC card is pretty much the same with how Octopath card works at MTR stations in Hong Kong, so probably you don't get confused. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Jenny! Hi everyone, I'm Aoi. Japanese International Tutor of HHK. In this lesson, I'm gonna cover expressions to make an order at a cafe in Japan. When you proceed to the counter, it's typical that the cafe clerk asks you like this. Which means, are you eating it? To answer yes, you can say, Hai or Hai, koko de tabemas. If no, you say, Ye, mochikairi de. When they say, Kochimo o ukagai shimasu, 
you can make another. If you order a drink, the clerk might ask, Size はどうされますか This means, which size would you like? You can answer either S size で、M size で、or L size で。If the cafe has another way to call the sizes, you can say something general like 小さいので、中くらいので、or 大きいので。When the clerk says, Ice と hot どちらにしますか This is asking if you want your drink to be either iced or hot. So you can answer Ice で、or hot で。Now, let's check out a real talk at a cafe. はい、こちらで。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、コールキーでお呼びしません。お待ちください。はい。ございます。That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. じゃあねー。Hi everyone. I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of HHK. This time, we're gonna learn conversations in restaurants to make you feel at ease about dining in Japan. When you enter a restaurant, a waiter or waitress will greet you with いらっしゃいませ and ask, 何名様ですか You can answer the number such as 一人です or 二人です like how the following video shows. いらっしゃいませ。何名様でしょうか一人です。一名様で。はい、かしこまりました。こちらへどうぞ。Once you decide your order, call a waiter by saying, すみません。If you don't know how to pronounce the name of the item, You can point at the menu and say, これをお願いします。An example goes like this. すみません。はい。お注文お伺いいたします。はい。えっと、これをお願いします。承知しました。残りたんですね。はい。Then your order is going to arrive. When they bring you all the ordered items, they will confirm with you by asking, ご注文は以上でお揃いですか It goes like this. For your information, we Japanese typically say いただきます before eating or drinking anything and ごちそうさまでした when finishing it. To leave the restaurant, bring the slip or denpyo to the cashier and pay the money. When going out, some people say ごちそうさまでした and or おいしかったです to the hall and kitchen staff to show them appreciation, just like this. お願いします。That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. じゃあねー Hi everyone, I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of HHK. Trips abroad is exciting, but it happens that you get lost or lose things in the way. So today, let's learn how to deal with these situations. First of all, how to ask the way. You're gonna say, すみません, to talk to the person you wanna ask, and explain that you got lost by saying, 道に迷ってしまいまして. Then, you ask the way to your destination. Somewhere, ってどこですか? An example conversation goes like this. The next situation is when you lost your belongings. To report that you lost something to the lost and found or information center, you say something をなくしてしまいまして and also say 届いていませんか to know if your thing is handed over. Then the officer might ask you some questions such as いつ頃どこでなくされましたか and or 特徴はありますか Answering these questions in Japanese could be challenging, so you might want to use a translation app or ask for a translator by saying, 英語がわかる人はいませんか Here's another example video for this. すみません。はい、あの、傘をなくしてしまいまして、届いていませんかはい、えっ、ー、と、いつ頃どのあたりでなくされましたか ?30 分くらい前に、この会社でやると思います。はい、特徴はありますか薄い緑色で、まして、あ、は銀、い、色です。はい、そうなりますと、もしかしてこちらでしょうか。そう
That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. じゃあねー。Hi everyone. I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of HSK. In this lesson, I'll show you videos to learn ways to express emotions in casual conversations. Uh, 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 <laughs> and Yorokobu means glad or happy. In the video, she was happy, so she said, Ureshikatta, Yorokonjatta. Okoru means to get angry. Iraira suru means to get irritated and Iraira shichau. It's like you don't want to get irritated, but you just can't help it. Kanashi means sad, and kanashi sugiru means too sad. Likewise, tsurai means saddening or heartbreaking, and tsura sugita. Means it was too fattening. Tanoshi and its past tense, tanoshikatta, means enjoyable. Omoshiroi and its past tense, omoshirokatta, can mean either enjoyable, funny, or intellectually interesting. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hi everyone, I'm Aoi, Japanese international tutor of HHK. This is the final video of the mini lesson series. To wrap up, let's learn how to say thank you, sorry, and goodbye in natural Japanese. A polite way to say thank you is Arigatou gozaimasu. If you are thankful about something the person did in the past, you say Arigatou gozaimashita. More casually, you can say Arigato. It looks like this. <laughs> Next, when you want to apologize politely, you can say Sumimasen, Gomenasai, or Moshiwaki Arimasen. If you want to say sorry about something happened in the past, you should say Sumimasendeshita or Moshiwaki Arimasendeshita. Among friends, you can say Gomei or Moshiwaki Nai. Actual examples go like the following. Finally, ways to say goodbye. If you want to be polite, you can say any of the following. それでは、失礼します。お疲れ様でした。And, さようなら。Casually, you can say, じゃあね。お疲れ。Or, bye bye. Here's the examples. じゃあ、幸せです。お疲れ様でした。お疲れ様でした。また遊ぼうね。じゃあね。じゃあね。バイバイ。That's it for today. 動画を見てくれてありがとうございました。さようなら。